You promised me that you were up to it, so... Are you? Yeah. Then make some fucking progress. Make some fucking progress. Do something, will you? Please, please. Simon? I thought that was great. You don't think he sounds cartoonish? Cartoonish? It's why Giorgio hasn't asked you to do the audiobook for a novel. Simon tells me things have become a little bit tense between you. I mean, it'd be fine. We went through half a dozen of these in Good Omens. How did you resolve it then? Battleships. I'm sorry I let the cat out of the bag about George's novel. All right. I'll be back. I've just got to drop some shopping off for my neighbour. Oh, that's kind. She didn't answer the door. I had a dream about you last night. Oh, yeah. That, do that doesn't seem to worry you. Not uncommon. What? Happens all the time. Not to me. No? No, I can confidently say I have... I've never dreamt about you before. Never, ever? No! Hmm? Messing out? Why, do you dream about me? Yeah, all the time. So, in this dream, um... I was... I was in a theatre. Of course you were, love. I was on the stage. Of course you were. Alone. And, um... The lights were shining on my face, so I, I couldn't see the auditorium. I couldn't, couldn't see if there was anyone out there. And suddenly this, this idea occurred to me. Speak, and the room will answer. So I spoke, but the voice that came out was different. Whose voice was it? Well, no, it was, it was still my voice. It was, it was just that it had changed. It was like I'd inhaled helium. And did the room answer? They brought the house lights up. And the theatre was empty, except for you. You were watching, alone. And what did I say? Happy the man whose wish and care a few paternal acres bound, content to breathe his native air in his own ground. Did I write that? No, it, no, it was in my dream. So what does it mean then? That I'm pining for a bigger audience. And what about the poem? That I should be happy at home. You know? I feel fantastic. That's great. Yeah, I mean, the situation is horrific. Sure. Globally. Yeah, no, I understand. But the time, the time is a gift. Such a, such a great way of looking at it. Have you read Ulysses? James Joyce? Yeah. No. Twice. You've read Ulysses twice? Yeah. About to go for a third. That's amazing. Oh, uh, uh, Lucy, this is, uh, this is Adrian Lester. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, yeah. Uh, Adrian, this is my sister, Lucy. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, you too. We were just discussing Ulysses. Have you read it, Lucy? Oh, God, yeah, twice. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> oh, it's sublime. Yeah, I'm about to go for a third. Oof, magical. <laughs> How are you coping through this? Just keeping an eye on this one, really. It's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we're managing all right. Yeah. Oh, here's Michael. I'll leave you to it. OK, uh, lovely to meet you. Yeah, you too. She's lovely. Oh, she is. Uh, happy for me to bring in Michael? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, uh, so they don't know you're here. Um, I mean, I know who you are, obviously, but I think I will just introduce you as a new cast member and then you can talk me up a bit. Uh, is there actually a part for me? Sure. Because the next roles uh, seem to be um, the mother and stepdaughter. Uh, here's Michael. Michael! I'll find my fucking script! Has it been going well? Really well. Yeah, seamless. Where the fuck is it? It's an unusual set of circumstances, obviously. I just... I, c I can't find it anywhere. You'll just have to feed me the lines and I'll try and keep up. Hi, Michael. Michael, do you know Adrian? <sighs> Adrian? A Adrian. <laughs> Adrian! Oh, my God, of, of course! I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, not a problem. I just thought, I thought you could join the cast. Lovely. How are you? Good. Great. Fine. You? Oh, I, I'm, I'm fantastic. Oh, no, that's great. Adrian's been reading Ulysses. Uh, twice. Well, it's a tough book. Here's David, too. Oh, bring him in. <laughs> Simon says it's been going well. Uh... Oh, well, David's a wonderful collaborator. My script has completely vanished. Very focused. I mean, if it was anything of any value, I'd just assume the kids had taken it, but it's just a shit play. Yeah, David, do you know Adrian Lester? Oh, Jesus, Adrian Lester, fucking hell. Yeah, no, he's, he's here, he's here now, on the call with Simon, right now. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hello, David. Hey, Adrian, how you doing? 
I'm, I'm fantastic. I thought Adrian could join our cast. Great. He and I have worked together before, so... Brilliant. So we could flesh this cast out a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, have, you, have you read Ulysses, David? No, never. No, Adrian's read it twice. Wow. Imagine it's quite hard to understand the first time through, isn't it? Simon, would you just email me the script again, please? Uh, uh, yeah, I have to use the other computer. That'd be great, thanks. Be right back. OK. Oh, I'm really excited to be working with you both. Simon's great, isn't he? Michael's He's... feeling a bit blue about the project. Uh, I mean, I'd say David was struggling more. Is, is that right? Yeah, he's he's trying to write something. Yeah, nearly finished, actually. You should speak to Simon about it. Michael's because... neighbour's gone missing. Missing? Under suspicious circumstances. George is birthing a child. Oh, you're having another one? With another woman. Yeah. Well, that's... that's modern. She's helping a friend. Is... So, how are rehearsals going? I mean, Michael's finding it quite to focus. He's starting having dark, upsetting dreams, really deep, weird, sort of disturbing wow, dreams. Really, really, me too. Really? Yeah, yeah, most nights. Am I in your dreams? No. Hmm. David keeps popping up in the collective subconscious, uninvited, like a sort of highland whack-a-mole. Just... You know, I was in the theatre in mine. Me too. What? On stage? Yes! Did we have the same dream? In mine, I was lying on the stage and I was, I was trying to scream, get a sound out, and I, and I couldn't, so I started twisting and turning and trying to scream. And then, and then, these ropes came out of nowhere and they, and they were covered in oil, I think, and they were wrapping around me, wrapped around me really tight, and I couldn't move. Then the audience, they started shouting, throw him to the bears! And what did you do? Fought them with my hands and my teeth, just... Yeah, sure. But I meant more in real life. Oh, well, I spoke to my uh, spoke to my life coach about it. Great. What did he say? Well, he told me that it was connected uh, to a repressed feeling of, of powerlessness. M what did he suggest? He told me to just ignore it. Yeah. Just, just breathe it in, breathe it out. Did it work? Yeah, yeah, it did, actually. It did, yeah. So now, whenever I feel, you know, sad or angry or powerless. I just, uh, just ignore it. How? Just <sighs> ignore it. Or, or sometimes I go for a little run. When you're down? Yeah, that's right. How far do you run? At 20 miles a day. Uh, that's a lot. This gives me time to be alone, you know, with my thoughts. It's nice to have company. I'm emailing a script to David. You're snooping. <laughs> I'm not snooping. Did you bring Adrian in just to talk you up? No, there were other things. <laughs> What's he saying? I can't hear if you keep talking. He likes you, doesn't he? What do you think he's saying about me? And I'm eating well as well, you know. I, I, I'm spending more time with my family, reconnecting with my roots. Yeah, I thought I could detect a little bit of hum of an accent in there. <laughs> oh, what, can you can you actually hear it? Yeah. Very, very subtle. Yeah, it's not a conscious thing. No, of course not. Have either of you two read The Inner Voice? No. Twice? It's about the artifice of acting. Great. Yeah. It's about the artifice of acting and the, the, the freedom which comes from throwing off the mask of an RP accent and embracing a true inner voice. That sounds fucking brilliant. Mm, isn't it? Because Shakespeare, right, was from Birmingham. Was he? I mean, a bit down the road, but... We are such stuff as dreams are made on. And our little life is rounded with a sleep. And that's Shakespeare. Have either of you two thought about, you know, leaning into your own true voice? I didn't think I wasn't. Oh, well, Mike, if I may. Oh, you may, yeah. You speak and the sound that emerges, it's, oh, it's, it's unfiltered, you know, raw. It, like, 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 <clears throat> what? This above all, to thine own self, be true. 
Huh? Could you, could you feel that? Have a go. Go on, have a go. Dave. Thanks. Um, to thine own self be true. That's great, but little less RP. I wasn't doing RP. Just a little less RP, Dave. I'm from Paisley. Trust me, trust me. Go on. Trust him. To thine own self be true. Yes, Michael. To thine own self be true. To yes. thine own self yes. be true. To thine yeah. own self be true. To thine own self be true, you bamboo. To thine own self be true. To thine own self be true. To thine own self be true. Is... Is he all right? Yeah, he's fine. You know, with the hair and the, and the beard, he just looks a bit... What? Wild. Nah, he's fine. Okay. What about you? Are you all right? I mean, you can talk to Simon about these things. Think of what really... Michael is. He feels helpless. And it's sobering, because, you know, you reach the top of the tree and then the world changes all around you and you find you can't help anymore. You're just... You're sat at home spelling words backwards in your head. What, is he doing that? All the time, yeah. You just stop feeling useful, don't you? You just, you know, the theatres close, the audiences go away, the roles dry up. You, you got nothing to offer. You just sat looking out a window, twiddling your thumbs, hoping it's all going to be all right. <clears throat> I'm going to go for a run. Sure. Um... Found my script. Where was it? I threw it in the bin last night. The bin! Where's Adrian? Gone for a run. Ah. Where's Adrian? Gone for a run. You did not say a bloody thing about me, not one bloody thing. Did he extol the virtues of life coaching? Yes. Yes, he did. Did he go into some detail about a very strange dream that he had had about bears? Yes. Yes, he did. Did he manage to get Michael Sheen and David Tennant to recite lines of verse in their own native dialect, a thing that I have been completely incapable of doing? Yes. Yes, he did. And then he went for a run. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, he called. When? Just then, when you were in there. What'd he say? He wants me to go back. What about to France? Mm. What did you say? Are you gonna go? Do you like him? No. No. Sorry. No, it's all right. What did you say to him? I said I wasn't going to go. What did he say to that? Well, he didn't take it well. Sure. I think we're done. What are you doing now? I'm gonna go for a run. Oh. Yeah, great. Yeah, can I come too? Sure. Mm.
had a go. Fine, yeah. She had a go. Nice. Helen. Very nice. Mm. You all right? Yeah, fine. The, um, the house appears to still be standing. I'm sensing a surprise. Well, I'm not trying to hide it. Well, I'll take some of the fun away. Mm. I did listen outside the kids' doors. Online lessons? That's right. Did you try and teach them at all yourself? I did, yeah. Yeah, and how did that go? I realised that I am alarmingly uninformed on every subject under the sun. <laughs> yeah, well, that is true. I wish I didn't feel so helpless. Is the writing not going very well? Actually, finished the screenplay. Oh, so, yeah. can I read it? No, you can't. Oh, why not? Because it might be shit. Well, sure, but I could help. It's already in your inbox. I sent it like an hour ago. Oh, exciting. Oh. Behind windows. You like it? Mm, bit wanky. Oh, come on, you can't say that. Oh, I can't. You don't even know what's in it yet. What's in it then? You know, lots of things. Well, it sounds excellent. Oh, fuck off back of the house. Oh, okay, maybe I will. But read my screenplay first. Yeah, sure. I will, but I'm going to phone Anna first. Okay? Yeah. Oh, and also take that. Oh, lovely. Well, I'm glad you've got your priorities right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to minimise you while I look something up, okay? Hey, you all right? Yeah, just one minute. Jesus Christ! Um... Georgia! Hi! Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were, uh, in there. You, know? you all right? Yeah, just a sec. <clears throat> uh, I was just calling to say that I've just got back from the hospital. Oh, how did it go? Yeah, really well. She, um... She had a girl. Called her Helen? It's weird in hospitals at the moment, because, you know... But they gave me gloves and masks and stuff, so it was... Should I call back later? No, sorry. An ambulance just turned up at our neighbours an hour or so ago. Good. Yeah, I mean, we didn't see what was happening, but Michael tried to go out and ask, and the paramedics just told him to go back inside. Did you see her? No, but... We saw a stretcher being carried in. Okay, I'll get Yeah, yeah, still here. Yeah. Thank you. Um, uh, she, uh, I don't know, she's about five foot two. Um, uh, grey hair, glasses. Um, I don't know, I'd say she's in her late 70s, early 80s, maybe. Uh, no, sorry, I, I, I don't know her surname. Her first name is um, Hannah. H A N N A H. My name, uh, Michael Sheen. No, Michael. S H E E N. Yeah. Well, we all love Neil Gaiman. Um, I know, but could, could, could you please just um, ask and, and see if you can find out, let us know? Um, I mean, someone must have ordered the ambulance, so we, we just want to know where she is and what's happening. Yes, yes, I'll hold. I'm sorry. Do you know where they're taking her? No, we don't know, but Michael's trying to find out. Oh, this is like a bad dream. No, it will be fine. It will be fine. Hello, yes. No, sorry, I explained. I, I don't know her surname. Her first name's Hannah. Uh, she's old um, and on her own. Her family's in Cardiff. No, I don't know where. Yeah, um, she runs an illegal neighbourhood watch from the CCTV camera mounted on a garage. She likes um, interracial softcore pornographic literature. Um, she's a angry, shitty, blackmailing little... Well, she makes a very bad batter breathe and um, she's kind. 
I know this isn't the best time, I just I feel like the last time we talked about it, when we were playing Battleships that time, we did decide that um, I'd have my name first on the poster, Tenant, and then Sheen. I think it's what we said that we would have. Um, sorry, I know it's, it's, this isn't great timing, but um, I'd just been sent a draft of the poster. You lot, they'll have sent it to you too. Beyond, I mean, you won't have had time to look probably, but um, they, they want to announce, so, they need approval on the uh, thing. I, unfortunately, on the one they've mocked up, your name is actually first. So, um, sorry, I, this is really bad timing, but they need changes by the end of play today. So, do you mind if I just go back to them and tell them just to swap those names around, just on the, so they're the right way around on the poster? Um, I, I, I'm happy to do that on, on both our behalves quickly, if that's okay. Or we could leave it as it is, just... Let's just leave it. We'll just leave it. We'll leave it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 